gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger. It's gotta be bigger. travel but i prefer morning flights but it sucks getting up well i'm back at it my first video in a while and i'm doing things a bit differently there won't be any motorcycles and instead i'm traveling with four friends it's a little easier for you to get out of here we're here today i'm flying from toronto to denver colorado From there, I'll head north to my final destination, in the Black Hills, South Dakota. The only way to travel. First thing first, find my rental. Denver Airport seemed to be easy to get around, so we arrived to the depot in no time. We were given a Jeep Wagoneer, which was spacious and comfortable for five. So we loaded up, did the required walk around, and we were on our way. Oh, this is going to be glorious. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Living the dream. So we were just hanging out back there and we just chose this one. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have a number of them. It did. Yes. I can't remember what number. Do you need this? Or that, that's the guy that rented it? This guy. He's in the He's back. in the back. We really don't let him drive. Got all the points. Yeah, that's right. He was the only one that stayed sober on the plane, so why would he drive? Yeah, yeah. You're on it. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Do you know which road goes to the volcano? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm curious, did you get the uh, French toast oh, or the good. omelet, John? Omelet. <laughs> it was delicious. Just had to make one stop. Getting a burger. Are you going to have to give me your YouTube handle because people watch this. I will, man, yeah. I'll watch it ten times. That'd be amazing. Say hi. <laughs> Each of us grabbed some food and a few supplies. Then we headed out on our long drive. Our route takes us out of Colorado, through part of Wyoming, to South Dakota. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. Cause it's a good six plus hours to the Black Hills. We're stopped on the side of the road here. Welcome to Wyoming. Wyoming? So we landed in Colorado and Denver, and now we're in Wyoming. Stopped at a, uh, at Love's. Is that another coffee? That's dangerous. And uh, we got four hours more of driving to do. My hope here is to inspire you, the viewer, to pack up your family, some friends, or go alone and take a good old fashioned road trip. Oh, Jesus. Not that I haven't seen mountains for the last three hours. Next stop, South Dakota. There was amazing scenery everywhere we looked, and it felt like the miles were flying by. But so were the hours left in the day. As we drove further into the hills, we saw a deer on almost every corner. So many so that everyone in the car was on the lookout. Just as the day was coming to an end, we arrived at our cabin. It's gonna be a very exciting day. Okay, all right. Hello out there. It's just gonna be exciting. Well, after a long day of travel like that, all we wanted to do was sit down, relax, enjoy a beverage, chat a little about our day, talk about what we're gonna do for the next few days. <laughs> and just go and enjoy the stars. Let's go and look at the stars, because you know they're going to be shining. Shine, shine, shine. 
morning, we were all a little slow to get moving. I don't believe that weather forecast one bit. Yeah, okay. And they, and they say <laughs> mountain weather, and I'm not sure what that means yet, but it seems it to be changed. changed. It's like a like well, inclement or whatever it means. Like it they, they say like when the hike, someone recommended that it's like mountain weather comes in, you want to do the hike in the morning because mountain mm-hmm. weather will come in like 12 to 3, and you won't be able to take picturesque shots. I get it. So I figure... That's all happening all over the place all the time, except for the Badlands. Sounds of something down there is just gorgeous. <laughs> Once plans for the day were organized, we got ourselves ready and headed to the car, while the wildlife did its thing. Let me introduce everyone. You know me, I'm John. This is Colin. Jason. There's Russ and Sean. Our cabin is located in a ski resort area, just near the town of Leed. But our first stop today is the town of Deadwood. No, no, go all you guys. Mustangs Bullock Hotel. <laughs> so we're in the town of Deadwood now. On the main street. We just parked. And uh, it looks amazing here. So we're just going to wander around, see what we see, and maybe I'll buy a souvenir. Strolling the main street, our first visit was to a small cabin that offered rustic keepsakes and souvenirs that reflected the town and its history. Jason noticed something fun to one side of the shop that we all had to give a try. (laughs) That's a tight fit. (laughs) It is kind of cozy in here. A couple of pictures, some laughs, and a few souvenirs later, we resumed our walk. This place is fabulous so far. Tons of fun. Oh, they have gambling. Yes. Must be 21 to go inside. It's a little bit dark, you know, if you can see them, but there's some slots in there. So they have like a little trolley that goes around. Lots of bikes, which is really fun. The town of Deadwood. A lot of people probably come here because of the TV show, the series that was on. But the reason we're here is during the pandemic, Myself and my friends here got used to on Tuesday nights playing video games, and the game we played was called Red Dead. Basically, you uh, pretend to be a cowboy and you ride around and you feed your horse and you hunt for stuff and uh, get some furs and you get some clothes and stuff, and then uh, it's just beautiful scenery. So you're riding around in this video game looking at this gorgeous countryside. I just love how everything's like perched on the side and we're like a little valley falls so. <clears throat> Can I just go over to that bridge? Not yet. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's do it. Look at this. Being earlier in the day, not a lot was happening yet in Deadwood. So we headed further down the street towards the edge of town to see the river. And take a group photo. Johnny, get in here. Then a quick drop by the Welcome Center to see if we could find a map of the area. Where's my boat? Oh. take one more little walk down the main street here and then we'll probably get in our vehicle and head south for a little bit, see what else we can see today. Heading back up the street, we came across an interesting place that does wood carving. Oh my God, I just realized that's Harry. So we had to stop and check it out. Sorry. <laughs> the, um, 
the color like the red cardinal, that's just an all weather rust all weather paints. Okay. Polyurethane coat them at the ends. Um, when you take them home, you can leave them outside all the time. You just want to put another coat of poly on about once a year. Okay. Now, bears, you guys are from Canada. Yeah. There's no grizzlies. Okay. okay. Yeah, Everything's okay. black. Black bears. Yeah. And you'll never see them. It's your mountain sheep, big curly horns. They'll, they'll stand there and let you take your picture and don't don't get out. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't get out. <laughs> but if you do make the news, you gotta promise me, you gotta say, hey, that's the weirdest looking deer I ever saw, eh? <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Thank you so much. Really, have a good day, brother. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. Good good you good. Yeah, too. Puppy, you're so gorgeous, my goodness. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so we're now in a bar that was rebuilt, but this is the original site where Wild Bill Hickok was shot. I'll let Colin tell you a little bit. Wild Bill Hickok getting shot in the back, but not the building. The building burned down in 1870-something. Oh. And then there was a flood in the river a couple of years later, and so they elevated this whole main street. That's, what's, that's what this is now. Back in the Wagoneer, we headed off to our next destination for the day. This is one of those little things you've always wanted to do since you were a kid. And that's uh, coming to see Mount Rushmore. Even though people say it's underwhelming, you always wanted to do it. the 1880s train from the town of Keystone. It's like a one hour trip each direction. Check this out. Where are you at? Ooh. On the Mystic. Down this way, a little ways there'll be a... Uh, Is it a mystical kind of train? Uh, well, I've never been on the Mystic other than walk through it, so I don't know. Okay. It's a fun ride though, I do know that. Right oh, on. I'm being recorded. Is that okay? Oh, that's awesome. Hi Excellent. fans, ride the 1880 train. We enjoy having you. Look at this, it's open to the air. I think this is me. There we go. I think we're in the front two rows. All right, we're in our seats here on the 1880s train. The 1880s train follows the original route laid down in the late 1880s to service the mills and mines between the town of Keystone and Hill City. Our ticket takes us on the same 20 mile round trip and provides a little taste of a simpler, more relaxed time. It's the gallon, a gallon, a gallon, a gallon, a Side of the tracks, we saw a wide array of incredible geology, and we got to meet some really interesting people. Hi, how are you? How are you guys doing? Wonderful. Good. 
Thanks for your turn here. stop. Thank you for taking the trip over. I think you'll enjoy the whole round trip. There's a lot of things to do. Absolutely. So, thank How many you. people have on this? <laughs> how many people have perished on this? Great. None that I know of since I've been here. Do you want to know how many long days I've been here? This is my third day on the job. Oh, my God. So, so far, I haven't lost a soul. Okay, All right. great. Yeah. Wonderful. Where are you all from? Toronto. Toronto, yeah. wonderful. Thanks for coming down. Oh, yeah. to train. Amazing. Thank you so much. Do you guys like any drinks, skin or hot water? Get your tongue for Russell. There he is. Hey, Harry. Along the way, we managed to glimpse a little wildlife. And eventually, we arrived in Hill City. Call the blowdown. They're cleaning out the boilers as right. they come into the station. They do it on both ends. Oh, okay. Right. So they, yeah, then they re put the water in, you know, but they don't drain the water. They just blow out the, the tubes and stuff oh, okay. that have to clean them out. And now, some gratuitous train footage. Because trains are cool. visit to Hill City, we were back on board and headed for Keystone. Our train ride had come to an end, and so had our day. Back on the main street in Deadwood, and we're looking for somewhere to get some food now. So the saloon number 10 restaurant was closed. So now we're going over to Mustang Sally's. Oh, I like it. Yeah, this is not It's great. So we found ourselves a steakhouse. We had to wait 15 minutes and then dinner time. And probably a wobbly pop. We took some seats and Sean and I thought it'd be a great idea to try some hot wings. This is like an episode of Hopkins. I don't need to water. So I went to theater school. <laughs> yeah. They've been saying that you've been the penultimate. <laughs> I'm going to fire my publicist. Why, oh why? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode in the series. Be sure to come back and join us for the next one, because we got some cool bucket list stuff going on. <laughs> it's all coming live here for Colin. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. In the next episode, we head towards the Cowboy State. So we've just gotten our first view from the vehicle. To see an awe-inspiring monument. Chat with some of the locals. <laughs> We're just being jerks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was the impetus for the whole trip go on a nice hike, and mock up a close encounter. What's up, Raj? And we finish off the day with some home-cooked food.